We are here to join the Palestinians in their resistance to U.S. imperialism and to shut down the f***ing DNC! Arm Hamas. Well, one of them, I, I think it was a uh, spit. Just All right, so we're here right outside the Israeli consulate in Chicago, night to the DNC. It's 7.06 p.m. This protest started at 7. All the police just came in here with their batons, creating kind of a protective wall. You've got Jewish protesters over there, and you've got Palestinian protesters right here. Back up! Back up! Back up. We shouldn't be comfortable in this country while people are being murdered and genocided on our tax dollars. The whole world is watching! The whole world is watching! Well, shit's all right over here, right? But you're fucking dead wrong! There are people in this country still subjected to fucking colonial rule on the res. Yeah. There's still people subjected to inhumane conditions in prison. Free Puerto Rico! Oh. Free Palestine! There's probably more media. There's definitely more media and police than protesters. But the protesters do not want to talk. Hello, would any of you be open to an interview looking to talk to demonstrators? Would you like to say anything? No. Okay. How do you think the police have handled the protest? Sorry, I'm not speaking English. Would you be willing to talk? You, you are not willing to hear, so... Would you be willing to do no, an interview? No, brother. No, no, no. Interview? Talk to press. That's not an answer. We don't talk to press. Somebody, if, there's, um, if there's Zionists over there, I'd pass Sir, could you show your sign? Yeah, yeah. All right. How about this side? Here we go. Uh, Defund Israel. Arm Hamas. Arm Hamas. They already are armed. Do you believe yeah. Hamas is a terrorist organization? No, I do not. They're the democratically elected government of Palestine. That's what they are. They do have a military wing that struck back on October 7th against Israel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So why are, uh -huh. why are you here today? Why are you here today? Uh, to document, why to interview are you people. Why are you here? To interview people. Yeah, where are you are from? From Roka News in New York City. Roka News? Yeah. <laughs> Get genuinely curious to hear from people yeah. who are demonstrating and, and to hear your view. All right, well, you got my view. Defund Israel, arm Hamas. Two questions. Sure. Kamala Harris, what do you think about her? I don't really fuck with her like that, to be honest. How do you think she is on Palestine? Uh, I think she's ass. She don't really care about Palestine. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what would you want her to do? I would prefer like for her to stop sending arms to Israel and try to work for like a ceasefire or something. I mean, anything better than just supporting the Israeli war machine, you know? I'm a revert to Islam, and I don't want to put a bad word out there for it. I mean, I'm Mexican, and I'm not... I'm not really in the culture like that, so I don't want to be as respectful as I possibly can. I understand some people are more mad about it than I am, but you know, I just support Palestine 100%. What does this flag mean to you? It represents hope for uh, a better tomorrow. Yo, the clash with the cops right up there. The cops are trying to push everybody back. They've got these bikes so they can move them back. So right now, there was just a clash between demonstrators here and the police, and there were a few arrests that were made. It got physical at the front line. We were caught in there. Actually, kind of hurt my wrist a little bit, but they're bringing it back. It's a tough place to gather here. It's in the middle of a busy street, but here we go. We'll see what happens next. You don't want me to ask him. How would you describe what's going on over there? Israeli contingent. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has it been loud? Has it been noisier? What's been no, going on? No, they're pretty, I mean, first of all, there's a very small contingent of them, right? And they're singing in Hebrew, and they're singing America the Beautiful, and they're fairly peaceful. That's a totally different crew. They're... How many police versus protesters versus media do you feel like? Do you feel like this is tonight's what you expected, or what do you think? So, I am media, by the way. Just yeah, media, so yeah, okay. of course. I think it's about what I expected. There's, they're gonna, they want to fight. 
they definitely want to keep mixing it up with the cops. So let's see what happens. Uh, I wasn't here yesterday. I heard it was bigger. It hasn't, yeah. hasn't been that big today. Yeah, it's not a huge group. group. There's only a hundred people. Huge group. It got, it got an, about an hour ago, it got like unruly and there was yeah. some arrests and stuff. These people have no lives. They have no jobs. They have no one who loves them. They have no goals. And that's why they're out here on the most beautiful night in Chicago talking about terrorists in uh, Gaza. Yeah. Period. Are you Jewish? Yeah. And That's why you got there's queers for Palestine out here. These people are brainwashed. I mean, the, so the two don't don't coexist. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You can't have one. You can't have your neighbors constantly trying to kill you. Yeah. It's been thousands of years of war. All right. Let's take a straw poll. Who's voting for Kamala? Who's voting for Kamala? I'm going for Trump all the way, man. You're going for Trump? Hey, I'm a leftist. I'm going for Trump, man. Fuck Bernie Sanders. No way. Bernie Sanders is a fucking seller. You voted for Trump. I don't know why you sell. Let's fucking go read the Bible. Yeah, let's fucking do it, man. All right. I just spawned out of nowhere. Gosh, <laughs> what's going on right now? Okay, so this has become this buffer zone between the cops and then the protesters. And we got more cops right here. So essentially, what they're trying to do is move past where the line is allowed. But when they do that, then the cops are like to push them back and start arresting people. So that's why they're really clashing. And we're boxed in on this block. Cops there at the end, cops here at the end. And you got provincial people down there, and people in the middle. So it's very tense here right now. This, this guy told us in an interview before, he's a Mexican guy, he recently converted to Islam. So he said he has some solidarity with the Palestinian. Sir, back up. Back up. Whatever. Back up. Piece of shit. Back off. Show me where the fucking line is. Back off. Show me where the fucking line is. I tell you where it's at. It's right here. Well, you have been very fucking clear. Stay away from my officer. Oh my god, your officers are fucking pansies. That's why. Fuck you. Listen, man. No, fuck you. Piece of shit. What press organization are you with? Independent. Oh, cool. So don't be right on top of the officer's back. That's all we're asking you to do. How's my favorite Yakubian media doing? This <laughs> guy's a chiller right here. Big chiller. Made this thing bilingual. Made it bilingual. Para todo mi gente estamos la raza de oro. Kill another soldier now! Kill another soldier now! Yemen, Yemen, make us proud! Yemen, Yemen, make us proud! Turn another soldier now! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck up with liberation! Up with liberty for the revolution! Each for the revolution! What's my issue with the protest? Yes. Absolute lack of recognition of what Hamas did. Okay, and what did Just Hamas take, do? Let's see, for 30 years, terrorized people. Okay. 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 And instead about of 75 years of occupation, that's about 2,000 years. 2,000 years of what? Of death of Jewish people that okay. Arabs have killed. That wasn't the Arabs, though. That was World War II, and that was Hitler. I'm sorry, 2,000 years was that, Hitler? That, so that was Hitler that caused Israel to happen. So would you like to discuss the issue? Okay. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a lawyer, and I like to have educated conversations. So whoever wants to talk. Yeah, so again, I'm not with the group that organized yeah. us, so I don't want to like yeah. say anything to them. However, I do strongly believe that there's a genocide happening, and I really wish that people would wake up to what the masses are yelling that our money, our U.S. income is going to that and is dropping bombs on these kids and on these hospitals. The number of hospitals that have been bombed since October 7th is mind-numbing. You know, like these are all, all war crimes. You can't do this. To attack a Hamas leader in another country, that's a war crime. You cannot, you can't on one side be trying to sign a ceasefire and then go kill the other person on the other side of the ceasefire, right? Yeah. None of this makes sense. So I would just like everybody to know, everybody to understand, I'm not against the DNC. I'm not against Kamala. I'm all about having a female president, right? 
But what she needs to know is that the masses, this better be a top priority, that the masses want this to be a top priority. Do, do you think Hamas is a terrorist organization? I'm not going to condemn them. It's not my job to condemn them, right? Like, I, I disagree with taking hostages of civilians, 100%. I disagree with the killing of innocents on both sides, 100%. But on the same level, what the IDF is doing is terrorism. It's a terrorist organization if you're going to call Hamas a terrorist organization. Right now, the protests are vastly outnumbered. I mean, there's probably uh, 100, 150 protesters and police. On this side, too. So, like, there's no... I think they've been trying to kind of amp people up and clash a little bit, but like, honestly, they can't do really, I don't think they can do anything. They're just gonna get, they're gonna get taken away if they do. A lot of the signs here, free cord rope, free cord rope, Gaza means fight back. I'm taking, Shit down the DNC. I'm taking this one home. International. <laughs> okay, Frost, what do we think? Not, definitely not the way they wanted it to go. Their goal was to shut down the whole DNC yeah. and instead you had one block of protests, a few clashes. I, I, I mean, in terms of the crowd overall, in terms of size, it was a pretty weak size. Who knows, maybe they'll join forts with someone else tonight. And then also the composition, a lot of white people, it didn't look like a lot of Arab or Palestinian marchers, of and, course some, but. Keep in mind, Chicago is the largest Palestinian population of any city in the country. Yeah. So there's no shortage of people here to come out and protest. And they wouldn't talk much, uh, but we tried to, and what a night in Chicago, wrapping it up with a little Chipotle. <laughs> no better way to do it. All right, we lied, Chipotle wasn't the end of our night. They made a bunch <laughs> of <laughs> arrests, we learned. All right, so. Cops are coming back. Chipotle is going away. I'll I was eating my Chipotle. Something's going on over here. Guys, hold the cord line. Hold the cord line. Hey, hold the cord line. Back up. Back up. Back up! I distracted him for a second. I, you know, I, I talked him into their senses and they, sir, I'm a hero. If you want an interview with me. Yeah, who, who are they? Uh, these two are, uh, I think one's one, uh, one eye Jack is one of the male ones and then he was with a woman, unidentified. Who are they, yeah. One is Seattle Antifa. And they looked like they had come to their senses for a second over here and I was like, hey, you know, you just assaulted an officer, it'd be wise to turn yourself in. Well, one officer. of them, I, I think it was a uh, spit, just simple spitting on, you know, but the officer didn't like it, they chased him down. Those two broke away from the pack that got arrested though, and that's where me and my Italian friend Leo came in. We spoke to him. Big dog, big dog. Into our, yeah, he works out. He's uncircumcised though, so that's a strike against him. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Danny Mullen. <laughs> the protest ended probably like an hour ago, kind of ended, but now we're coming further down and it's going on. It's kind of a grimmer vibe. They got. Look, they got, they got the biggest dog. dogs out, bro. They got. So just like that, the night ends. It began quietly, and despite a shortage of numbers compared to Sunday night, it ended with a little bit of drama. I mean, there were clashes throughout the night. We were in the middle of one clash, ended with a sprint arrest. Bro, if that doesn't get your heart pumping. Bro was was eating in Chipotle? the mix. There was 10 people running after me. <laughs> and me and Frost, Frost was ahead of me. He just came around. He was right behind the car. Well, that was pretty lit. That, that was exciting. I that was, I was wild. Get, dude, I heard the taser, bro. I was like, yeah. I was like is that, are they going to come? Nah. I was just wow. Trying, I was holding the two Chipotles the entire run. <laughs> Delivering them to the, the, the arrestees. Wow. I will say this a lot of cops. Mm -hmm. A lot of cops. 